Welcome to Q's Countdown Online. I'm Josh Wetmore alongside fellow analyst Mark Sell. And Mark, it's really hard to tell even three games into the season who this Syracuse team really is. They played like two different teams against Wake Forest, barely beat FCS opponent Rhode Island, and then got blown out by USC in what was a closer game than the score suggested. So it's still hard to tell whether the Syracuse team is improving on last season or getting worse. I think this Toledo game on Sunday is going to go a long way in showing the fans who the Orange really are. And I think the big thing is also coming off of that rough go out there in California, Matt Barkley throwing, for the five, throwing five touchdowns against them out in USC. The time difference changed, the time zone. They come back, he come back to the Dome on Saturday, play a team like Toledo. In front of the Carrier Dome crowd, you get the win, you're three and one on the year. So I think that's the big thing for Syracuse. It's a rebound game and a bounce back game from that rough go out on the West Coast. Now in terms of X factors, Josh, I think it goes without saying that wide receiver Eric Page of Toledo is the X factor for this game. It doesn't matter what plays Toledo draws up, any play, whether it's a post play, where it's a slant or a post, this guy goes up and gets the ball where you put it right there, he can come down with the ball. That's how talented he was. Last season in six games, he each had over 100 yards receiving in those games. He was an All-America last year, the first one for Toledo in 36 years. He's a Bolitnikoff Award finalist this year. I think it goes without saying, they got to contain Eric Page. Well, my X Factor is going to be the guy who might be guarding him at points during the game, and that's free safety for Syracuse, Philip Thomas. Now, this is a guy who two weeks ago was Big East Defensive Player of the Year. But if you watch the game, he didn't play very well, and he hasn't played well all season. A player who's supposed to be a leader, one of the best players on the Syracuse defense, and has not lived up to that hype. And I know he's a safety, so he's not going to be one-on-one -on -one against Page for the whole game, but Syracuse does use him a lot to help cover receivers, and there are other talented guys on this Toledo team as well, so I think how he plays is going to go a long way as to how well the Syracuse defense plays. Now, Mark, what's your prediction for this game? I think Syracuse is going to win 27-23. to 23. It's going to be tough throughout the game, I think, but the way that what Toledo brings to the table, they have two quarterbacks in Austin Dan and Terrence Owens that really come in and out of the game. Syracuse doesn't really know when to expect, when they're going to come in, when they're going to come out. So that's something unexpected. In addition, some of these screens that Toledo throws, I mean, go back to the Boise State game this past Friday. The offensive line completely stays put until the de defensive linemen come through. That gives them time to get all the way down the field and block. That's how Toledo was able to get those touchdowns early on. So I think with all that in perspective, I think Syracuse is going to have a tough time adjusting to that. But in the end, it's going to be a dogfight from start to finish. I think Syracuse pulls it out by four points. That score of the Toledo game got pretty ugly, though, Mark. <laughs> I, the, Boise State well, figured it well, out. the second half. Yeah, the, Boise State figured that out in the second half. I think Syracuse will do the same. I'm going to say a little bit bigger difference. Still a close game, though. 31 to 24. I think the Orange defense continues to struggle this year. And the passing offense for the Orange ranked 44th in the country, which doesn't sound great, but it's a huge improvement from last season. They're going to lead the Orange to a victory again, 31 to 24. For more Syracuse sports content, check out the Citrus TV sports blog at citrustv.net.